Hey everybody, welcome to Survival Superhero. Today, we're going to find out which of these is the best rugged phone. The Cat S62 Pro versus the Doji S97 Pro. Make sure to watch this until the end because both of these phones really do have some incredible features that you do not want to miss. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so we can help you with survival gear and reviews regularly. Now let's get straight into the video. First, let's take a look at the Cat S62 Pro. This was released on August 25th, 2020 and has the best thermal camera you can find on any Android phone. It comes with a FLIR 3.5 professional grade sensor built right into the phone. The thermal imaging sensor is extremely useful and actually performs exceptionally well. It provides enough detail so you can accurately find things like leaks, blockages, hot spots, temperature elevation, and electrical shorts. The sensor has been tested to accurately identify temperatures within one degree, which is very good. The Cat S62 Pro is built like a tank. Cat has a reputation for building extremely rugged phones, but the S62 Pro takes this to a whole new level. It's resistant to salt, sand, vibration, spray, even pressure. The display is bright enough that you can see it while outside in the sunlight, and the rear camera can shoot 4K video in 30 FPS. The 4000 milliamp battery stays charged for up to 48 hours on a single charge. The S62 also has one programmable button that can be used to do whatever you want. It does have a fingerprint scanner, and the S62 also ships with Android Enterprise updates guaranteed until late 2023. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor in the S62 is good enough to do daily tasks and maybe even some light gaming, but it is not as good as some other rugged phones, and it's definitely not as good as the Doji S97 Pro. Don't be surprised if you notice a little bit of lag when you switch between your apps or if you're taking a whole bunch of photos all at once. The Cat S62 Pro does not have a face unlock feature. There's also no headphone jack, but you can still use Bluetooth or USB-C dongles to play audio. Unfortunately, most of the S62's higher price went towards getting the best thermal imaging sensor possible and also having an extremely durable design. So you can expect cutbacks to be made pretty much everywhere else on the phone. The S62 actually performs just about as well as any other mid-range phone, but the S62 costs hundreds of dollars more because of the thermal imaging sensor. But you might not care about having the fastest and most powerful phone on the block. If you're simply looking for a super durable phone that can take a serious beating and also provide the best thermal imaging possible on an Android device, the S62 may just be the perfect phone for you. Now let's talk about the pros and cons, good and bad, of the Cat S62 Pro. Pros. It's got a FLIR thermal imaging camera, the best one available on any Android device. It has a sleek design and comes with the most current Gorilla Glass 6 protection. Cons, the bad, it doesn't do multitasking very well and it is a little expensive. The bottom line for the Cat S62 Pro is, for anyone looking for a phone with thermal imaging and is also built with military grade ruggedness, the Cat S62 Pro is a great choice. Without the thermal imaging camera, the S62 might not really be worth the phone's top shelf price tag. But with the top notch thermal sensor included, it definitely does justify the high price. Now let's take a look at the Doji S97 Pro. The S97 Pro was released in June 2021. It calls itself the first professional rugged phone with a laser rangefinder. You can use the laser to measure things like area, volume, and Pythagoras measurement. The built-in rangefinder can detect distances up to 40 meters and includes a total of 8 different measuring modes. The S97 Pro is also super fast. It's actually one of the fastest rugged smartphones that you can buy that is not 5G. It also has two programmable buttons that you can use to do whatever you want such as open up push to talk mode 
or open a particular app on the phone. The Cat S62 Pro only has one programmable button. But realistically, you could just buy your own laser rangefinder for around $100 or so. So the laser rangefinder is useful, but it's not as cool as the integrated thermal imaging sensor found in the Cat S62 Pro. Without the laser rangefinder, the S97 Pro from Doji is a fairly average rugged smartphone that is closely rivaled by the Doji S88 Plus and the S96 Pro which both have way higher screen resolutions to boot. But don't count the S97 Pro out by any means. Its MediaTek G95 processor is very fast, and it also has a gigantic 8500 milliamp battery that will easily outlast most other smartphones in its category. The battery life is further extended by the low screen resolution on the S97 Pro. The S97 Pro is a great phone for anyone who is looking for something different. Even though the laser rangefinder on the S97 Pro is not as amazing as the thermal imaging camera on the S62 Pro, the laser rangefinder is still useful. The previous S96 Pro model from Doji included an infrared night vision camera built into the phone, so if you're interested in an infrared night vision camera, you might also want to check out the S96 Pro from Doji. The S97 Pro also features wireless charging capabilities, a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, comes with Android 11, and an app toolbox, which has a collection of different apps useful for construction workers, hikers, and other outdoor activities. Let's get down to the pros and cons of the Doji S97 Pro. First, the good things, the pros. It's got a laser rangefinder, has a lower price, a very large battery, and it performs great. Now the cons, it's got a low screen resolution, and it's kind of heavy and clunky. The bottom line, the Doji S97 Pro's laser rangefinder certainly is very cool and innovative. But other than that, the S97 Pro from Doji is more of a standard, mid-range, rugged phone that is pretty decent if you can handle the low screen resolution. Now let's see how these two rugged smartphones do when we compare them side by side. Screen size. The Doji S97 Pro easily wins this one with a 6.39 inch screen size versus Cat S62 Pro's 5.7 inch screen size. RAM. The S97 Pro slightly wins this one with 8 gigabytes of RAM. The Cat S62 Pro has 6 gigabytes of RAM. CPU. The S97 Pro wins this one for sure. It is much faster and can handle much more than the Cat S62 Pro. SIM slots. The S97 Pro wins this with its dual SIM. The Cat S62 has a single SIM. Storage capacity. This one is a tie. They both have 128 GB storage capacity. Rear camera resolution. The S97 easily wins this with its 48 megapixel rear camera. The Cat S62 has just a 12 megapixel rear camera. Price. The Doji S97 Pro wins this with its current price tag of $359.99 on Amazon, and you can sometimes even get it as low as $229 on Banggood. Check the description for some links. The Cat S62 Pro costs $599 on Amazon. Links in description. Waterproofing. The Doji S97 Pro wins this one. The Doji S97 is waterproof for up to 2 hours at a depth of 1.5 meters, which is about 5 feet underwater. The Cat S62 Pro is waterproof, but only for 35 minutes up to 5 feet underwater. Drop proofing. This is a close one, but Cat S62 Pro wins this one. The Cat S62 Pro can withstand drops of up to 6 feet onto steel. The Doji S97 Pro can withstand drops of up to 1.5 meters, which is about 5 feet. Screen Resolution The Cat S62 Pro wins this with a screen resolution of 1080 by 2160 pixels. The Doji S97 Pro has a screen resolution of just 1560 by 720 pixels. Screen Protection they both have scratch-resistant Corning Gorilla Glass, but the Cat S62 Pro uses the newer Gorilla Glass 6 
while the Doji S97 Pro uses Gorilla Glass 5. So technically, Cat S62 Pro wins this because it has the newer Gorilla Glass. Dust resistance. This is a tie because they are both IP68 certified dust resistant. Wait, the Doji S97 Pro wins if you are looking for a lighter weight. The Doji S97 Pro weighs 12 ounces, while the Cat S62 Pro weighs 18.72 ounces or 1.17 pounds. The bottom line. The Cat S62 Pro and the Doji S97 Pro are both great rugged smartphones. The Doji S97 Pro costs less, it has a bigger battery, a faster processor, has a rangefinder, but also has a low screen resolution and is kind of clunky even for a rugged phone. The Cat S62 Pro has the best FLIR thermal imaging camera on any Android device and a very sleek design, but does not do multitasking very well and is a little expensive. If you're interested in buying either of these phones, there are links in the description. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of awesome survival gear and much more. Check out this playlist of our survival gear reviews, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.